like walking shorelines and seeing what I see. You know, just, I'm a biologist, and uh, that's one of the things I love to do. And I came out here and, and a little further south, where the winters are a little more mild. A little further south, where the winters are a little more mild. You get down around two feet right now, and you'll see oysters everywhere in the intertidal zone. Wow. So here's an old piece of oyster shell, and it's got two, three, four, five, six live oysters on it. If, if you gave that to me and just brought it to my office and said, hey, I found this, I would say this is from a, a restoration project and that the, the spat came from Horn Point Lab. But it didn't. It's, we're here in Harris Creek, and these are all wild oysters. They just found a good spot to call home. Yeah, you know, pick up another rock, and there's a probably a two-year-old oyster. Grab another rock, <laughs> and there's five or six oysters on it. It's they're everywhere. Uh, I think the conditions are just are just right for them. You have good salinity and and flushing and. The Top Tank River historically has produced more oysters than any river in the in the United States. So I think the goal is to put like 25 million oysters into Harris Creek. So first they'll improve the bottom in areas where the, there's not really enough hard substrate, and then they'll put oysters down.